Okay. So there's one in a zillion, you're the real universe, and 999 zillion to one that That's you your simulation. Your simulation. I, that convinced me. And, and I don't want to be convinced. I didn't like it, and I was just begging for somebody to, to give me an argument that was cogent enough to undermine that entire reasoning, and I just came across one. So here is what convinced me we are not in a simulation. Okay. Are you seated? All right, I'm seated. Are you put, hold on. I'm going to hold. Okay. <laughs> all right. What do all those simulated universes have in common? They're simulations. They can. They have the power to simulate That's themselves. That's what I'm saying. They're simulations. No, they have the power to simulate themselves. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. That's they, what they, they all have in make a simulation. They have so that power exactly to simulate themselves exactly. Do we have that power now? No, we don't. No, we don't. Which means that we can't send it. In, we can't send ourselves into the future as a simulation. Because so we, we don't have the power yet. So we can't continue the chain. Wait, so either we, we are, are the, the real one, right. or we're the one in the chain that's still evolving. To try to, to then make a simulation within their own world. Right. So the odds of us being a simulation goes from a gazillion to one. I mean, from, to, to, to the likelihood of a, Likely, a, a, a right. gazillion. Right. It flips. It flips. 50-50. Wow. And I'm good with that. That changes my life completely. Yeah. yeah. So, Dr. Tyson, let me just start off by saying that I really enjoyed watching this video. But I don't think you fully thought through this argument. It relies on the fact that each simulated world capable of making a simulation only makes one. But this doesn't make sense. It seems much more plausible that each simulated world capable of making a simulation would make several, so each link on supposedly billions long chain of simulations would effectively split and create a number of new chains. Since this would happen at every link capable of creating simulations, there would be a possibly infinite amount of separate and distinct chains all descended from the original base reality. Taking this argument into consideration, it seems highly likely that a number of the ends of these chains would take a very long time to reproduce and some would never do so. All your argument really tells us is that our reality is at the end of one of these possibly infinite amount of chains of simulations. So the probability flips back into the favor of the simulation theory being true. Neil, if you're watching this, I would love to hear your thoughts. Hit me up on Twitter, the handle's on the screen, we can talk about it, and thank you for watching.